out then. I needed to go grow up outside of the world's view. I don't want my story to be the girl who got 16 and pregnant and that be the thing that I'm remembered for. We all grew up watching the Nickelodeon channel and couldn't get enough of our favorite young stars. Often we forget that celebrities have totally different lives outside of the innocent characters they portray on TV. Some Nickelodeon celebrities went on to continue their stardom and kept on their career path toward Hollywood success. Others, not so much. Today we're talking Nickelodeon teen stars who ruined their career in seconds. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all things Hollywood and celebrity drama centric. Amanda Bynes is one of the most well-known Nickelodeon basket case stars to date. She got her start on the sketch comedy series All That and quickly became a household name with her goofy Ask Amanda skit. Amanda was such a hit that she got her own show, appropriately titled The Amanda Show. The Amanda Show ran for three years but gave us a lifetime of classic one-liners and unforgettable skits that are referenced in pop culture today. Amanda Bynes single-handedly ran the Nickelodeon channel and raked in millions of dollars at just the young age of 13. Amanda went on to star in Hollywood films but took an acting hiatus in 2010. Shortly thereafter, everything crumbled. Amanda had a bit of a psychotic break. She drastically altered her appearance and had more than a few public meltdowns on Twitter. Anyone with a smartphone remembers the iconic Drake tweet that she wanted Drake to murder a certain part of her body. She was soon thereafter arrested for criminal possession of marijuana, tampering with evidence and reckless endangerment when she allegedly threw a bong out of a window in her New York City apartment. She even claimed that she would sue the NYPD for both sexual harassment and making a false arrest. She had a string of DUIs, multiple hit and run car accident charges and many other criminal charges under her belt. I know cops cannot illegally enter my apartment, sexually harass me, arrest me, take me to a mental hospital, then lock me up for a crime I didn't commit. I'm suing them all for this upsetting nightmare. Amanda Bynes was continuously seen engaging in weird behavior in public, from stripping to her bra in a spin class at a public gym, pulling out her makeup kit, and exiting the class after spending 10 minutes touching up her lipstick and eyeliner on the gym floor. She then got a cheek piercing, dyed her hair multiple colors, and threatened to sue just about every publication in the United States. Amanda Bynes' Twitter account broke the internet multiple times, especially when she infamously tweeted to react. Anna, Chris Brown beat you because you're not pretty enough, and that she almost named her new dog Rihanna. It's sad to see a promising teen star go off the deep end and all before age 30. But according to sources, Amanda's since cleaned up her act and seems to be doing well, but will forever go down in history as one of the world's hottest messes. I actually wasn't being insincere. I was like saying, Murder my vagina. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, were, you were serious. I was serious, yeah. but I was also on drugs. So that was my way of saying, like, let's do it, let's man. Let's do it. <laughs> but I was. After starting a fire in a neighbor's driveway, an eyewitness describing the unusual scene. Yeah, I saw this girl laying down right here with her left pant leg on fire. When I look at her, I'm like, it's Amanda Bynes. Remember Zoe 101? Back in the days of Pacific Coast Academy, Zoe and Logan ruled the roost. Zoe was famously played by Jamie Lynn Spears, the superstar younger sister of pop icon Britney Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears had the world at her fingertips until an unexpected pregnancy at 16 cut her off from Hollywood entirely. Sadly, the world shunned young Jamie Lynn when she became pregnant by her then 18-year-old boyfriend Casey Aldridge. The two quickly got engaged and tried to work out a relationship, but it failed. Nickelodeon canceled Zoe 101 shortly after Jamie Lynn's pregnancy but swore the show wasn't canceled because of Jamie's personal life. The world may never know, but one thing for certain, Jamie never acted again for Nickelodeon and her pregnancy was widely negatively received by the public. The freedom, whether they were 100% behind it or not, to make my choices and kind of really grow up. And that was important because I can't have a child and still have my mom and dad making decisions for me. So I think it was, you know, it was like a good tough love, which I needed. I was figuring out who I was as a woman at the same time. And I think it was one of the most important things that I ever did in my life because I was a child then. I needed to go grow up outside of the world's view. 
Her Zoe 101 co-star found himself in hot water at a young age as well. In April 2012, Logan, aka Matthew Underwood, was arrested on suspicion of marijuana and marijuana paraphernalia possession as well as contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Cops busted into his home to find drugs, weed paraphernalia, and unfortunately for Matthew's sake, a 17-year-old girl. When questioned, Underwood claimed that he and the underage girl were sleeping together and that he had in fact supplied her with weed to smoke. After this incident, he was arrested yet again months later outside of a hookah lounge he owned for violating his probation by possessing weed once again. At least he left the underage girl at home this time. Nickelodeon never had work for Matthew again. All it took was a few bad decisions and Matthew's career was instantly over. This morning, they found him in his bedroom with his 17-year-old girlfriend along with marijuana and smoking paraphernalia. Tonight, he faces charges of possession and contribute, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Years after Zoe 101 and The Amanda Show, shows like iCarly dominated cable TV. iCarly was one of Nickelodeon's most popular and highest grossing shows and gave us breakout stars such as Jeanette McCurdy, better known as Sam. Sam was the quick as a whip partner in crime to Carly the show's main character. The world fell in love with Jeanette McCurdy and couldn't get enough. Nickelodeon later gave her her own spin-off show, Sam and Cat, alongside Ariana Grande. Sam was untouchable and quickly became one of Nickelodeon's biggest stars to date. However, Jeanette's off-air activities soon ruined her fame. A salty ex-boyfriend leaked naked pictures of her and soon images of Jeanette laying in bed in just a bra and thong circulated around the interwebs. The show was not renewed because Jeanette who skipped the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards had fallen out with the network over pay. With just a snap of the camera and a few choice words, Jeanette's Nickelodeon career was over as soon as it started. She tweeted, To anyone disappointed, I sent those pics to one person. You can connect the dots. Shocked someone would stoop so low. I just speak with candor. Lastly, who could forget the downfall of Drake Bell? The former All That and Amanda Show star catapulted to fame at a young age as star of the hit show Drake and Josh. Drake soon became the poster child for the Nickelodeon channel and was a household name all over the U.S. Young and wealthy, Drake reportedly purchased a 2,640 square foot house in California for $2,050,000. The fun was over just as soon as it began. In 2014, Bell filed for bankruptcy in California. California and his house was taken in foreclosure. Drake was in a half million dollars of debt and couldn't get an acting gig to save his life. He had a weird brief Twitter meltdown phase where he would attack Justin Bieber for no apparent reason. In 2017, his former co-star, Josh Peck, didn't invite Drake to his wedding, which broke fans' hearts and left them scratching their heads wondering what happened. The final straw for Drake? He performed with his band for a crowd of high schoolers and had a major public meltdown. A group of high schoolers kept throwing balls at him while he was trying to perform the Drake and Josh theme song. Instead of acting his age and asking them to stop, he threw the balls as hard as he could back at the high schoolers. Talk about embarrassing. Sounds like Drake hasn't grown up much since his days as a young actor on Nickelodeon. Did not he invite me to his wedding. He didn't invite you to his wedding. Yeah. Clearly you were very upset about that. Rightfully as, so. Rightfully so, and you tweeted about it. Yeah. So, and you guys made amends a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. You hugged it out. There you have it. There it is. It's all love. Finally. Always been love. Always, Always gonna be love. <laughs> oh, well, hi. It's just us boys. Yeah, it really is. We're all back together. And the wedding was pretty great. David, I'm Jesus sorry. Christ. Have it. There it is. It's all love. Finally. Always been love. Always, Always gonna be love. <laughs> oh, well, hi. It's just us boys. Yeah, it really is. We're all back together. And the wedding was pretty great. David, I'm Jesus sorry. Christ. <laughs>